All right, folks, so let's do some isometrics. Um, I'm going to tell you this will not be my best drawing because drawing with a document camera in your face is not the easiest thing to do in the world. Um, we are going to do number three. And just as a reminder, remember isometrics have three planes. They have a left plane, which in this case is going to be your front view. 99% of the time, this is going to be your front view. You're going to have a right plane. That's the stuff that would be your right view. And you're going to have a top plane, which is what your top view would be. Um, that's going to help you when we do orthographics as well as isometrics, if you can start visualizing those things as separate planes. Isometrics have three dimensions. We have width, which goes this way, height, and depth. So what I'm going to do first is I am going to start with the front view. I always find that the easiest view to start with. So I told you guys that these triangles are quarter inch. So you can either count triangles um, or you can use your ruler. So the first one is 2.25. And that is going to be, let's try to move that there. That is going to be either nine triangles or two and a quarter on your ruler. I prefer to read rulers, but you know, whatever floats your boat. So there's two and a quarter. There's the line. And that's this line. And by the way, if you try to trace these, they're the wrong size, so don't do that. Now I'm going to do the height, which is one and a half, which is six triangles. For this drawing and for number four, all of the lines are isometric lines, which means that they will all be on the grid paper. When you get to the second page, there are some that are called non-isometric lines and they will not line up on the grids, and I will show you that when we get there. So now I've drawn this line here and this line here, and I'm going to draw this piece here. That is 0.75, which is three triangles. Okay. Now I'm going to draw the height here on this piece so that I have this, this L, and that is also 0.75. I'm just starting with the, with the front view, and then I will project it. In, I will project the depth from the front view. Okay, so now I'm just going to play connect the dots and bring this guy back till he meets his friend. And yay, they're happy, they're together now. Okay. So there is the front view of this drawing. Okay, now I need to give it the depth, I need to give it this little seat, and that is 0.25. So we're just going to go over one triangle on the depth axis. Okay. And we're going to connect those dots too. So now I have this piece here. I have to make this U shape. So I need to come down this depth. And it tells me that the depth of this seat is 0.5. And knowing how many triangles that is, that is going to be two triangles. Okay. Now, the entire depth of this, this whole thing from here to here is one and a half. Okay. Which is six triangles. And by the way, because I know somebody's going to ask me this, I'm drawing with a 2H pencil. Um, I prefer to draw with 2H. You guys can draw with HB if you want, but it may come out a little sketchy as opposed to making nice, thin, continuous lines, which is what you want when you're doing technical drawing. Okay. And now I'm coming over 4 to make this part because if the hole is 0.5 and each of these little seats is 0.25, that means I subtract 0.5 from 1.5, which gives me 1. Hey, look at that. I used algebra. 
See, it does have a use, those of you in Algebra 1 who keep telling me you hate it. Okay. So, and there you go. Now I'm just going to bring this guy across. And now we're going back the 3 again because the depth hasn't changed. It's still 0.75. And then connect the dots again. A lot of isometric drawing is just plotting out your points and connecting the dots. And I'm still on the camera good. Alright, so we're going to come down here. And I am coming down 0.5, which as I told you guys is two triangles, because that's the depth of the seat. Now this guy here doesn't want to be all alone, so we're going to connect him up with his friends. So far so good? Okay, let's keep going. Now we need to do the front piece here. It looks like a C, kind of laying on its side. So I have this, but now I'm going to come over 0.5. And once again, you can either measure it or count triangles. I work smarter, not harder, so sometimes I measure, sometimes I count triangles. When it's like one or two of them. And connect that together. So I went over 0.5, and then I just connected the box together. Now it tells me that the depth of this piece is 0.75. So that means three triangles back. Okay. And now how big is this? Well, 0.5 plus 0.5 is 1 minus 1.5 1 is 0.5. Hey, look at that. We used algebra again. And I'm sorry guys, I have, still have a cold, so my velvet tones aren't what they usually are. And I'm going to come down, I'm making this corner right here, because I know it's going to be there, so I might as well just drop it in. And now I need to come back out three triangles. Okay. And now I'm going to take my corner from back here and I'm going to bring him forward. I actually don't really need to measure that. I just need to draw it. And then wherever this guy connects is where it's going to go. And I'll use my eraser erasing shield to clean up that line here in a minute. I'm going to bring this guy down. 0.75, which is once again three triangles three triangles and there you go now it's missing one line do you guys see where it's missing the line right here because I have to show that depth so and there is number three if I had turned this in I probably would have given it a 95 um, in technical drawing you don't want things hanging out like that you also want all lines to look continuous. It is very difficult for me to draw on a document camera um, because it hangs right over my head. So this this corner should be tighter. This corner you should I should clean that up. I should clean up that corner. Basically, for a hundred, it should look like a computer drew it, even though you did. Okay, so that's isometric number three. I hope this helps.